guys, just at the just at the uh, at the farm again now. So I'll have a quick quick look around on another little small field. It's been cut. So I'll see you all on the next one. See you later. Well, first do some fine. It's a bit of a uh, little rubbish field. This part of a vape. I don't think that'll work anymore. Oh well. Let's keep going. And just over there. Oh, that's a bit too zoomed in. Okay, on to the next one. I'm not so sure if this is a piece of silver because it's got a decorative piece around the sides there. Just I had to bend out a little bit. But I'm not too sure. It looks silver. Could just be rubbish though. Here we go. A lock. Small one. Probably quite old. Wonder what that was for. Hopefully there's a little box around here somewhere. <laughs> Another one of them, that I got the other day. Put a cup on off, a cup off. That is on that one. SM101. I'm blank on that side. Okay. okay. Let's keep going then. It's only early, on 10 o'clock. That is not too bad. It's warm now. I just found this. I think it's a palm guard. If I'm correct. No coins yet, up to now. Let me back at you. Come on then. Yes, he is. Haven't you? Hey. Are you windy today? Yeah, I know. Talk about coins. The last one, and here's my first coin. It's a early Elizabeth. And the date is hopefully you can hear me because I've got it's pretty windy today. And I can't find the date yet. I think it's here. Uh, 1870 something, I think 73 or 78. Okay, on to the next one. Now oh, I've got the ball rolling. Another coin. I want to get a silver though. Got that love token, didn't I? A couple of weeks ago. Oh well. George the sixth. I'll take used to this new camera. It keeps going um, blurry and taking time to focus. Hopefully I get used to it. Coin ball. See it coin on the run now. No, George the sixth. 
that's a ship. Ship half penny. 1944 by the looks of it. On the cruiser. With a coin ball. Four coins on the on the run now. With the copper. Good condition this one. Quick back for you. Go. George the fifth, is it? What's that? That's not seventeen. Let me pause you. Oh, nineteen seventeen. There we go. Nice little coin there. Start to focus. Another one. It's very thin, this one. I think that's a George third though. Let me pause you. Yeah, definitely. George the third. Not a lot coming up on that side. Okay, see it. I like George the third. It's not pretty cloudy. It's been raining a little bit as well. So I've got about two or three hours left. Now this was a very scratchy town. Very, very thin. Battered to hell, I think, that one. Metal it is. Yeah, there's a third, I'd say. On to the next one. Alright, time for another break. Wavers, one mayo again. Chocolate mint mementos, or mentos, whatever you call them. Two bottles of water. Now I'm going to hit up and down here now. I think Chris has done some of this, but I'm going to go up and down here with the mains as much as I can for the next two or three hours and then that'll be me done. I've had six coins up to now. I had 15 the other day. I think it's six. It might be seven coins actually. And then I think this field's pretty much done. Apart from maybe over there I might not be able to get done. Uh, I'll try and do as much as I can. Basketball. First of the day. Oh, there it is. One of them shitty buckles that I hate. Oh well. Let's keep going now. Every time I start recording, the wind goes mental. Excuse me. Big penny. Probably going to be a Georgie Forgy. Nineteen twenty-one. Okay. I've got to try and hide the phone because it's absolutely throwing it down. As you can see, it's all soggy now. That's um, nineteen. 
1927. So that'll be a George, aren't it? George fifth. Okay, let's keep going. We've got one of uh, Millward's favourites. <laughs> there we go, just for you, buddy. Nice half penny. Yeah, half penny. Tripney Bear. In the pissing rain. Okay. Straight away. Another coin. Don't know who it is. Just trying to find out. I think it's George V, because it's 19 something there. 1938. Okay. Ah, oh, this is muddy now. Oh, I'm almost catching up to my total of the other day now, that's a compliment. I think I had 15. That's another one. I'm surprised there's not been many silvers on here. I've had that one William the third of token and that was it. Thought it'd be a lot more. Uh, let's see. Sorry, can't even I'm trying to make up the date. I haven't got a clue. Well, it's George the Fifth anyway. Add to the box. It's been absolutely raining today. We had the last hour, especially. Yeah, it keeps losing focus. This phone. Hmm. This was a terrible signal. Like some sort of badge. Ah, the rain's picking up again. It's a little badge. Not much off the back. It sounds scrubby. No, don't know what that'll be. Might clean up later. I had an art attack then, I thought I'd seen gold. See? Ah, oh, probably a 2p. No, I don't know. Can't clean it up properly. Yeah, it's a bit of a half penny. Chip half penny. When they come out the ground like that, it's almost bright yellow. <laughs> oh, a little sovereign. Never mind. Let's keep going eh, in the rain. The green there. Uh... I'm not sure what's coming up on that. Well, definitely a half penny. Just can't make out anything on it. Okay, the rain's finally stopped, and I've got another coin. Could be the last one. What's that say? Nineteen thirty. I think. Let's go this one, that one as well. And Charles V. Yeah, that might be the last one, I'm not too sure yet. And as the time's getting on, I need to get back to the baby, so... I'll see what I find on the way back to the car. Night, guys. Driving home now. Been about seven hours there. Got a few few coins and then I spoke to the farmer at the end. So the plough field has never been done before. Um, but the field that I've been doing, he used to plough it. He said he found this big box when he was ploughing it. 
and it was full of all big pennies, all cartwheel pennies. That was full, full box full. And he's gonna give me them at some point if you can find them. Because he's got them somewhere. And plow field will be ready at the end of August, hopefully. Um so I'm looking forward to that, especially that's never been done by a metal detectorist before. So me and Chris will be well on that. Um, so that'll be good, won't it? What else? He was telling me his brother used to own a farm a couple of miles away where the, where the battle was. And there was two big bumps like that in the field. And they were like, what the fuck, what the hell is this? So they, Tried to do a deep plow through it, and it was hitting all this uh, this hard stuff. And it turned out to be um, two graves from the people who obviously got killed in that battle. He said they opened it up, and it was all made out of. Um, what was it made out of now? It wasn't like steel or anything or anything like that. It was. Graves are made out of this, this type of stuff, and um, so there were swords and everything in there. You had to get like the archaeologists in and stuff, people from the museum or whatever, to, to sort it all out. And they took, took it all away. But uh, they don't own that farm anymore, his brother retired, so it would have been boss getting on that field, wouldn't it? Some of the stuff I'd find. Anyway, nearly home now, so thanks for watching and I'll do a little round up in a bit. Alright guys, just a little uh, round up. Two uh, unknown coins here, I've got a clue. Elizabeth, George III, I don't know what that one was. Um, Let's see George VI. That's George V, is it? Yeah, that's George V. And then to George VI. They're all George V. Um, I think that one is as well. Yeah. Obviously, you've got the like a little badge type thing. Nothing's could really come off it. Buckle, um, a couple of little bits, and then two possible silver pieces there, and another one there. I'm not sure if it is double. Who knows? Anyway, I can't get used to this phone yet. The camera's on it is well better than my old phone, but it's terrible at zooming in and stuff and being clear. I, Maybe I've got it on the wrong settings, I'll have to have a little play with it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.